Maybe it'll bring us closer. All's well, I hope. I was going to say the very same thing. As soon as I worked up my courage a little. I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother, forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. Dark Justicias are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a justice here in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate... Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this... I hope my time will yet come. Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together, and it seems we have plenty in common. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. I hear you did the deed. How was your little romp? Just 
spoil sport. Well, what do you want if you're not here to gossip? Speak. It is done. Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. It's a delight to speak with you. What can I do? If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death, Alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god, to know yourself, to be untouchable, to be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. For 
for a spell. Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the Weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Well met. Tell me, what can I do for you? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Oakfather's blessings to you. Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his dark justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source.
precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Seromorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. Takes you away from nature, and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. A bad impression. <laughs> Impossible. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. You wish to speak? I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? With pleasure. Lead on. Tell me, Lazo, when you say we might be purified at your crash, what does that mean, exactly? Augusto will affix the Zaphisk, the purifier, to our heads. Its magic will quell the parasite in an instant. The tieflings have moved on. We can restore the harmony of the grove now. Enjoy it while it lasts. That Zaphisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Millar. Our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. Here goes nothing. plane 
Everything is eternal. It will be my home soon enough, should Vlakith will it. <clears throat> You've a particular way with words, Gale. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. They're not mutually exclusive. Weave is served best with a dash of eloquence. Smell that? Blood. This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. Smoke. Something's burning. Spoken, and so is it done. He of the unsleeping eyes, grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. He should never have been here in the first place. I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. I hear shouts. Allow us peace in this. We'll never put this fire out. You're better off helping anyone trapped inside. And so is it done. Grand Duke Raven Guard could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push! Yes! The hero of Baldur's Gate! He could be trapped! Help us get through! Goblins and drow happened. Now push, damn it! much time. in time. <laughs> Come. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait.
fresh air. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Yiva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city's collapse is certain. I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. By the time aid arrives, it might be too late. You've the heart of a dragon and the will of a hero. Tell me I can count on you. Moonrise Towers, along the old road. That place is cursed. Few could survive there, unless darker forces are at work. This was no random attack. The Grand Duke was their target. Thank you. And should your courage falter, Remember the Duke's generosity. Approach the towers with care. The land itself has been swallowed in shadow. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Fist to work. when we would have doubt. So it is spoken, and so is it done. Sword Coast, Blazel. Yes. It is much more lively than the Githyanki slates led me to believe. Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. Can't slow down. A dragon rider. My kin are near. Damn, that thing could blot out the sun. Stay low. It might not see us. I suggest we admire it from afar. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Stop wasting time, Beretta. 
You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. of a Kithrak, young one. It is not your time to speak. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Jestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands any more than it does the absolute followers. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Damn it all! You did well to intervene, vexed as I am to admit it. The Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Better not be cursed. Baldur's Gate, northwest. Elturel, south. Moonrise Towers, west.
is everything I thought it'd be. And I... This environment seems worthy of a Githyanki warrior's estimation. Ah, to be deemed worthy by the great Lazelle of Kresh Kalir. Continue as you have, Karlak, and you will achieve the same. Abandoned. spot for an ambush. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us! What's this? Got ourselves an infiltrator? You move pretty quietly. Not quietly enough for my liking, though. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Told you, hunting. 
a slave ran away. Took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. Help? You don't even know what you'd be up against. Slaves got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rot flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. You're either brave or stupid to be worried about your purse in these parts. Get those boots. Then we can talk rewards. Maybe you'll even be allowed into the Absolute's ranks. Deep Gnome Slave. They all look the same. But this one's got fancy boots. She's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the Absolute. Spores are everywhere. More are coming. That voice. Do you hear it too? Control your thoughts. It seems I'm not the only one listening. They're coming. You're coming. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwe- God. What's happening?
Marching. Lost in thought. Most excellent. Pushing on. Can't slow down. At the ready. Forthwith. A long road ahead. Time to press ahead. A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistre. Blood can only be honored with blood. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering.
taking position. Another fight. Let's go. in my way.
It's a trap. <laughs> 